For the first time in my life, I decided to get a job in customer service at a supermarket. And even though I've only been working at this job for a few months, it has definitely been interesting. This wasn't my first ever job though. I had been employed to bake cakes at ridiculous hours of the morning in the past, but we'll get into that in another video I'm sure. Before we get into today's video though, I want to let you guys know that we've got our second ever sponsor. Dream Me. Dream Me is a platform for creative female written fiction, functioning for both authors and readers. With 150,000 books, 100,000 writers, and 20 million subscribers. Dream Me has partnered up with me to help spread love and support during these tough times and have created an exciting activity for us to all get involved with. To join, simply write we are together on some paper, take a photo of it and share it on social media with the hashtags, hashtag we are together and hashtag dream me. Spreading love and support between each other is so important in times like this to emphasize the fact that nobody is alone when it comes to hardships. Healthcare workers especially would appreciate this outpouring support as they are literally out there saving the world and sacrificing their own safety for the benefit of us all. We're currently experiencing such a horrible world event and we all need a little bit more positivity put out into the world. So it would be amazing if you guys could help spread this encouraging message. Dream Me are going to go through the tagged post and pick out 30 people to receive 300 free reading coins in the app as well as a special gift pack. And on top of that, they you're going to choose five of you commenters below this video to receive the same rewards. They've also given out special gift packs to the writers who are also healthcare workers, which is just a really nice gesture I wanted to also mention. Anyway, on with the video. This customer service job was my first job that required social skills and I had none when I blindly walked into it. Me applying for this job and me creating this YouTube channel happened at exactly the same time and for a good reason. I probably could have invested all my time into YouTube, but I knew that I probably needed some sort of backup to support me while I was trying to make this all work. And me working at this place had turned into content, so you know. Let's call the supermarket lols since that rhymes with the actual name of the store and I don't want to get sued for using their awful store name. I applied for my job at lols online and a couple weeks later I was scheduled in for an interview. I used to hear so many horror stories about people freaking out and butchering their interviews purely on the fact of nervousness but honestly I felt fine. I walked in and answered all the typical job interview questions and then we just spoke about dogs for the second half of it. I was pretty satisfied with that. Then the week after that I had my first shift. This is where things take a turn. I made so many mistakes. And fruit? Vegetables? How had I never heard of half of these? Uh, excuse me, what is this? It is a choco. Listen to this nerd, she has never heard of it before. Hey mom? Yeah? Have you ever heard of a choco before? Jess? I don't want to choke about it. Not only are the random names of obscure fruit hard to grasp, but trying to find certain brands of certain fruit? Wow. Let's use a really simple example here though and say apples. Do you know how many different types there are? What about mandarins? So many. When I was being trained up for the job, I accidentally pressed the wrong type of apples on the system and suddenly offended a customer. <laughs> What is this garbage? You're supposed to give me a pink lady. Do you really think I want to eat a Granny Smith? What is this garbage? Just some apple based humor for you guys. This leads me into the most important and horrifying aspect of working in customer service. The customers themselves. Strangers can be very unpredictable. Other times though, you can pretty much predict exactly what nonsense is going to come out of their mouths. There are people who get way too excited when placing their groceries on the conveyor belt and end up chucking their food all over the place and their bags. I've been hit in the head once. We've got the old ladies. Oh missy, can you please do a favor for me? My arms are so weak and I can't lift my bags up. Thank you so much, young lady. You are beautiful and I don't doubt your mother thinks the same. Legit, some old lady said that to me and after she left, I heard her complimenting someone else. She is the definition of a blessing. 
On the other hand though, some are like this. Where is my wallet? You stole my wallet. Give it back! Are you putting through my capsicum as a red, not yellow? Oh my god, I hate the yellow ones. How much is this? Something definitely smells around this area. Fix it. Hold up. How did this add up so quick? It has got to be wrong. Does this taste good? Can I please speak to Karen? I bet it doesn't. How much are the apples this week? Great, now you made it too heavy. Can you enter my pin in for me? Please don't steal my bank details. <sighs> it is a lot to handle, especially when first starting the job. Not to mention that I wore a badge stating that I was new, so... You know. Give your girl a break. Also, I found out there's a lot of people like this. Hi, how are you going? You know what? Put me in a box and yeet me across the ocean. I don't have time to deal with this. There's also those situations where both people say, how are you doing? And it's just awkward because no one replies because you think the other person's going to reply. This happens all the time. Who is meant to answer first? Is anyone meant to answer? Some people really make me uncomfortable though. Here's something that happens way too often. Hey there, how are you doing? <laughs> Just why? In what type of situation do you need to wink at a worker in a grocery store? Explain your reasoning for this. <laughs> and what makes it worse is that it isn't just the same person doing this on repeat. Heaps of old men do it, which is disturbing. After that happens, I'm kind of just on edge and let out awkward laughs if they say anything else. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit B. <laughs> yep, awkward. I know a lot of other people do this too, but I have the fakest customer service voice out there. My voice just goes all high pitch and I can't control it. It just happens. This might be one of the reasons why people have been asking me, ah, uh, how old are you? You look like a little girl. Why aren't you in school? You dropped out of school to work here. Wow. Okay. Some people apologize, which is cool and all, but if it were me, I wouldn't question anyone's age if you didn't know them personally. One time a lady was so blunt and said this right to my face. 18? You look 12. Like, yeah, I get it. I'm a small person. 5'2 to be exact. And I have a baby face, so ah, uh, Just be polite about it, please. Kids are another type of customer entirely. I have witnessed so many temper tantrums over toys and chocolate. It's almost a daily occurrence. You have got to wait until the lady scans it. If I did that when I was little, my mom would literally just put the chocolate back on the shelf passive aggressively. You know what? You don't deserve this. <laughs> my store Lowell's has done a bunch of these free toy promotions recently, where if you spend over $30 on your groceries, you get a blind bag with a mystery toy inside, and you can eventually collect them all, blah blah blah. Kids go nuts for these. Literally. I saw these two kids fighting each other for one of these cheap toys. Oh my god, is that the dog food? Yeah. Can I have it? No. Oh my god, give it! Stop, oh, stop! Get off me. Stop giving it! Mommy, stop give giving it. me the dog food! Kids, stop it! So, anyway, those are the main types of people I come across. But there are certain types of conversations that I have to play along with multiple times a day. Being busy? Have you been busy? Been busy? Been busy? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. You must be so tired and busy from working all day. Haha, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It would be so much cheaper if we didn't have to eat. <laughs> nice one, Susan. Where's the toilets? Down the hall to the right. Do you know where John has gone? Um, who is John? This one time, I was on the register by myself and this mother and daughter began to stack all their items onto the conveyor belt. I could just tell her mother was in a foul mood and her daughter was very 
energetic and irritating to her at the time. She just wouldn't stop asking questions about the food and her mum would always just respond with the salty one word replies. While this was going down, the girl had one of those beanie boos and was making it jump on every single item which was hard because I was trying to grab them to scan. She literally held onto some of the products and just stared me down with a dead straight face. Kinda creeped me out a little. Anyway, now to the beanie boo. I never thought I'd be discussing about Beanie Boos in my videos. <laughs> it was a white, blue, grey monkey. This was it. Since she wasn't getting a good conversation out of her mother, she started asking me random questions about it. What type of monkey is this? Over the course of our encounter, a queue had formed and I had to scan the items as fast as possible. She then repeated her question impatiently. What type of monkey is this? Jess. This caught me off guard and I did my little awkward laugh like <laughs> a white and blue monkey haha <laughs> what the hell is that? Once everything was done the two of them walked away but this girl held her eye contact with me until she reached the door. Still not quite sure on what to make out of that whole scenario. On a related note another shift resulted in a random kid hugging me and not letting me go. He's still here to this very day. No but seriously he came all the way around behind the desk to do this. It was so confusing. Still preferable over the psychotic beady boo girl though. And now for the other side of the job, packing the groceries. Honestly, I don't find it to be too bad of a task. I've come to the realization that the art of grocery packing is literally the real life version of Tetris. So uh, maybe a certain guy out there might like packing bags at lols. All you have to do is pack everything in really close together so there's no empty spaces, whilst also making sure each bag isn't too heavy for the customer. <laughs> oh! Oh my. Something I didn't expect coming into this job was that it is so easy to cut and bruise your hands from simply packing some food. The sharp edges on the plastic meat containers always managed to slice me up. Or even jamming my fingers against heavy food such as tins of dog food. That hurts a lot. And worst of them all, catching colds from people. There have been a few times where I've came home, crawled into bed and just passed out for what felt like a century. Thinking back to when I first started working at LOLs versus now, there is definitely a significant improvement in my confidence when talking to customers. Sure, I'm still not the best at it, but I was worse than a nervous wreck when I first started out. I even get to say things over the speakers of the shop now. <laughs> Attention all customers. Please subscribe to www.youtube.com slash jelly. I only plan to work at this job part time and only temporarily. I think full time would drive me insane and it's definitely not a career path I want to be in long term. But I do take off my hat to the people that have been working in these types of jobs for an insane amount of years. I've definitely realized how crazy sometimes this job can really be. But to end this video on a positive note, I want to tell you guys one of my favorite things about working at LOLs. Getting those cheeky little stuff discounts. But do you know what's even better than that? Getting cheeky little stuff discounts on the already discounted food. I've came home from work plenty of times with tons of great discounted foods. No one can get between me and my red velvet cupcakes. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about lols. I've actually been working at this job for quite some time now so I definitely have a lot of other stories for a part two if you guys are interested.